get a first down, it's over. Fourth and six. Hackenberg hit and dropped, and the game is over, and it's Bosa. Well, this is a mismatch. Somehow Bosa got matched up on Akeel Lynch. That's a mistake up front for Penn State, and he just overpowered Lynch and drove Lynch right in to Christian Hackenberg. Good scheme by Ohio State, bad protection by Penn State, and Ohio State gets the victory. Buckeye pass defense has been terrific, and it helps when you can rush like that. Joey Bosa with Adolphus Washington right behind him. Third Ohio State sack. Done a nice transition to offensive coordinator. Whoa. O'Toole belted down by Joey Bosa. Well, it was hard enough to block him when they were playing with their five starters on the offensive line without Karras and Svianovic. It's going to be a very tough task. Well, Sean, it's just a little X game right here. You asked me earlier in the broadcast who my silver football award winner will be. It's Joey Bosa. And I'm saying that now because he's the most dominant Defensive lineman, in my opinion, in college football. Widener in trouble, and he gets walloped back inside the 20. That was going McMillan. nowhere from the start. McMillan and Bosa back there for the Buckeyes. Understands the naked look, and he is all over Mitch Widener. With that amount of speed and talent and size, Laquan McMillan, you're going to hear that name a lot over the next. But you can't take a sack. You can see the clock's running, and there comes the sack, and it's Bosa. That's the last thing you want to happen, and he gives the, well, just the shrug for another sack. Fourth of the night now. Croft is the leading receiver. He's two catches today. Nova had trouble with the snap. And it seemed to throw the timing off. You don't want to give Joey Bosa any extra time. Four and a half sacks for the sophomore from Fort Lauderdale. Brewer. Goes down and the ball comes out. And Ohio State's got it. I don't think he threw it. That was a fumble. Just mentioned Joey Bozo. And he comes up with a play.